Tell us about your coaching and orbiting journey. Yeah, coaching and orbiting journey just became came out of a hobby. Like uh, um, used to teach some kids near my nearby my home, who used to ask me to teach just whenever they are free or whenever they used to see me playing. And then slowly, slowly joined hands with sir uh, people in Belgium like um, Giri sir and all. Then with them I started coaching at their academy. I started to work with uh, with them and uh, yeah like uh, coaching we used to train kids then slowly slowly we gained experience in that and then also like uh, we attended fide trainer seminar and got certified by fide is a development instructor and also arbitrating was the same thing we used to arbitrate in local tournaments and gained experience there and also like um, whenever we got uh, national arbitrator seminars we attended it and then we got national arbiter title senior national arbiter and then also we have uh, worked in fide events and got some fide norms fide arbiter norms mm, yeah arbiter journey and coaching journey has so far been interesting because uh, the love for chess has never decreased yeah so the following it and trying to work towards the progress of chess in all states uh, in our um, Uh, in our city as well as the nearby rural areas sometimes we do some rural camps also like we go to some places like um, yeah we have been to some places and we have conducted workshops two days three days workshop for uh, rural schools and uh, rural people and then we have brought about the awareness about chess in them yeah we are working at root levels also and then we are doing chess in schools also like we train in schools and then also like um, i also train in blind school so i'm having like around 30 students there 20 to 30 students so they are also doing so far good they have participated in some open tournaments participated in open rep tournaments and they have been doing good they winning prizes there also so it's good so one two three kids are also participating in uh, ASF National B tournament. Yeah, they're not winning it, but okay, they are performing better. So yeah, just journey teaching and arbiting work has been going good. Sir, uh, one more thing, uh, uh, one more question about your chess. What is your uh, what was your chess uh, Olympiad experience? Yeah, Olympiad was a very good experience in. Uh, um my whole career like uh, there was a great opportunity given by icf so it was given for all chess uh, lovers and chess players in india as icf also took a great step of uh, accepting to conduct the olympiad such a big event in such a short span of time they managed it well when we pulled it off together with a great success it was a great event with 189 countries participating um around 189 i think so like uh, Yeah, and the event was huge with lot of super GMs and GMs and uh, many players participating in it. So it was a huge task to be pulled off. And uh, be- the best part of it was the volunteer team. What they as if decided, they took all the chess players and players from different states of the country and they uh, made a team, uh, gave them different tasks, and uh, it was a great experience. Like I had been given the arbiter volunteer work. in the hall and had to assist players and help the arbiters in the hall and it was a great experience to watch the great players and our icons and like world champions and um, super grandmasters so closely watching them move the pieces was a really very inspirational and yeah it was a great experience sir can you suggest uh, some good books for the uh... upcoming kids yeah um for um, beginner kids like to start with they can use uh, easy workbooks there are so many workbooks about like uh, metin 1 metin 2s or uh, tactical positions there some interesting books called 303 tactical position book and uh, 1001 ways of 1001 exercises so again Like you can use um, 
build your usepo series of build boost and uh, evolution series and also like woodpecker method for tactical positions and even like in the beginning stage what we can uh, woodpecker method and the usepo will be like for intermediate kids for beginner kids again you can think about like watching classical games of uh, old world champions past world champions like bobby fisher or kasparov karpov vishyanand vishyanand is a recent time but again if the older games are seen then it would be better for the understanding of the game like old uh, games are having little bit of clearer plans and better understanding compared to the more modern games which are very deep and difficult to understand at the beginning stage so I would suggest some classical games and classical books like for uh, beginner kids like you can use uh, okay. mnl lasker's book or uh, william stein's books and his games you can study in the start so that you understand the game better and then um, go on like as you are studying you can go for bobby fischer's game also my 60 memorable games or tal games and then coming towards then you can watch anand's games so wish anand fight and world champion truly great inspiration for our country yeah thank you thank you sir for sharing your experience uh, and your just that means and motivate to motivate player to play chess from the thank you sir yes yeah and uh, olympiad also uh, gives a great chance to observe closely how a uh, big event is um, organized like all the minute details are uh, taken into consideration like um, from everything like table to chair the distance between the chess board and the table which we are uh, played and the distance and uh, the floor there should be no noise in the floor and the doors the temperature is maintained and um, so many things are uh, very minutely observed and uh, organized it was a great experience to learn that from that event yeah yes and uh, yes all uh, all the best for your journey so hope when you are uh, back like uh, we get to hear a uh, lot of good stories and interesting stories from uh, the amazing chess clubs which you are going to visit in all the cities so we'll wait for that yes okay, yeah definitely sir yes we will do